So the entire point of this process is to use the pressure differential created by the vacuum to pull the resin from one side to the other. The reason that we're not introducing resin right now is we don't know if there's going to be a pressure differential because there might be some holes in the bag. <laughs> and you know what? Totally fine. There's always holes, so don't worry about it. I think your guys' standard calls for your bag to hold 17 inch pounds of mercury with no more than a two inch drop in five minutes. It, it sounds like a lot of numbers. Basically what we're going to do is we want to pull even more vacuum. So we're going to have a uh, 30 inch pounds of mercury. This is just going to create a larger pressure differential, so it's just a larger slope. What that's going to allow you to do is pull your resin through fast. So like I said, we only have an hour to play with everything, which is why we need the biggest pressure differential we can get. And you guys are going to wash this piece of you down. You actually did a pretty decent job. So you can listen to it. Okay. And you can probably hear some some leaks, right? Yes. Yes. I can see they're here and here. I can hear them right now. Oh, so yeah. I'm going to get out of here. What I'm going to let you guys do is listen for them. And then if you guys hear them, press down so you don't hear them anymore. And if you want to be doubly sure, the way you check, you take that valve and you shut it. So right now, I can tell you that there's a leak because this should go all the way up to 30. And then if you shut that vacuum and you don't see a drop, mm -hmm. that means that you guys have a perfect bag. Okay. But what, what I expect is that it will go to 30 and then you guys should lose Slowly. about two tick marks in about two to three minutes. And that's totally fine. But you guys should have the gold ticket up to 30 right now, so let me get out of the way and then you guys go screw your down to it and figure out where all those leaks are. Generally, those yeah. happen in edges and pleats where you have overlap. <laughs> that just when you have those overlap, generally the tape doesn't stick to itself as well as it could. Can you hear where it's coming from? Yeah, it's maybe okay, you. Here. Oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, put, put your ear down, but you can totally hear it too. If you guys have any any doubt, close that vacuum. So take that blue lever and turn it 90 degrees. Yeah, it's like stop. So if, if you guys think you did a good job, take that blue lever behind there. Do you see the, the, the blue lever? Oh, this one? Yep, turn it 90 degrees. I think you guys did a pretty, pretty darn decent job. I don't see a big drop. Do you guys? No. no. Okay. Nope. Stationary. Good. I, I a little bit slightly. No, huh? that's fine. I yeah. from last time. Last time uh, there was a couple, oh, yeah. uh, couple really big cleats that didn't Oh, so well, but it looks like we did a okay. much better job. So we have a situation, the fiber and the... I'm sorry, what was that? We have a situation, the fiber is exposed, so it's going to be... That should be fine. It's, 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 it's off of the part, and this is it's with a peel ply, not with a glass fiber. No. Yeah, but the peel ply already. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so it moves around. Oh, the, the, the peel ply is off of the fiber, that's fine. Mm -hmm. It's just, are you saying that the, the fiber is exposed? Is the fiber touching the flow media? Yes, the glass? yes. Yeah, yes. yeah right here. Over there. Right there. So. All of them over here. Um, take, actually, no, that's closed, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Now you guys should be able to move things around. Uh, so you're, and you know it might be it might be that that's just how it is. And you know what? It, it's fine. That's fine. And then if you could take that lever and turn 90 degrees, we need to pull vacuum again. Okay. So this is just allowing all the air that I introduced mm -hmm. to flow out. To go out. Okay. Okay. So now who wants to mix resin? Or have you guys mixed resin before? 